1930, my mother's sister, named by a sheer act of prescience, Alberta, <laughs> decided to leave the small, very small village, which was founded by her paternal grandfather, William Harvey, and make her way to Canada. She went to Montreal. She, had no la she didn't have the lingua franca. All she had was, as far as I know, standard English and some Jamaican Creole. And she made a life in Montreal, and her sisters Rose and later Anne joined her. Canada is the first country that I knew of as a way when I was a child. And the fact that I'm standing here today receiving this, just being here today, having my family nominated for the prize, because really th that book is about them. I'm about to cry, so if you will forgive me if I just say thank you very, 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 very much. And thank you most of all to my tender companion, my beloved encourager, your great writer and public intellectual and professor John Edward Chamberlain, who stayed with me for 12 years as I struggled with this book and gave up every few years and every few months. And he said, no, it'll happen. And it did. Sweetie, thank you. And thank you, everybody. Thank you.